Today we're going to look at creating custom converters with RAD Data Pager. RAD Data Pager is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video, we will take a look at implementing the iValue Converter interface with RAD Data Pager to customize actions when our applications need it. We will read the page index property from RAD Data Pager and expose it in a text block in our application. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are once again inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we are working with the same project that we worked with in the first two parts of the video series. And just as a very quick recap, underneath references we added in the references required for our grid view control and for our rad data pager after we did that we added in an employee class which stores our name company name and title and then we went ahead and inside of our main page .xaml.cs we added some sample data after we added some sample data we set our rad data pager dot source equal to employees which is our observable collection. We also added in a page index changing event that would prompt the user to make sure that they wanted to proceed to the next page or not. So if we just go ahead and we go back to our project and we run it you'll be able to see our RAD grid view at the top, our RAD data pager at the bottom, and we have five items here. We can navigate to the next page. We'll go ahead and navigate back to the first page. And again, if you change this value and you tried to switch to the next page, then you would get this prompt. So that's what we did in the first two parts of the series. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel here, and I'm going to close out of our Internet Explorer. So let's go ahead now and start working with a custom converter with RAD Data Pager. Scroll up just a little bit and then inside of our grid.row definitions I'm actually going to add in one more row definition and the height is going to be set to auto here. So this is simply a placeholder for the text block that we're going to be adding in just a second after we build our converter. Let's go ahead and add that converter in now. So I'm going to go back to my project. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go add class and I'm just going to name this class index to number converter and we'll go ahead and we'll hit add here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to implement the I value converter and I'm just going to go ahead and resolve that namespace. So you'll see it just added in system.windows.data. Of course we need to implement that interface and I have prepared a code snippet for us for that. And if we clean up our using statements really quick, culture info will now be m mapped to our system.globalization. So we'll see here, from here we have an index to number converter this implemented an I value converter. So we have convert, which is going to simply return this int value plus one, a convert back, which returns the int value minus one. So at this point, we can go ahead and we can scroll back over and open our main page.xaml. And inside of our main page.xaml, I'm going to simply create an XML namespace called converters and I'm just going to scroll down here and we're going to select our rad data pager GSTTV project. So now that we have our converter XML namespace we can actually start using this. So I'm going to go to build and then go to build solution. Now underneath our grid.row definitions I can simply add in grid.resources converters index to number converter and give it a name here. So if I scroll down just a tad we can drop in a stack panel where some of this will begin to start making a little bit more sense. So 
inside of our stack panel the orientation is going to be set to horizontal the text block text is going to be employees page and then our second text box text is going to give it the page number so you can see we're going to be binding on the page index of the element name of rad data pager and then the converter is just going to simply be our static resource of index to number converter again we're going to set the font font weight there to bold now since we added a row definition that means we're going to have to go ahead and adjust this as well so I'm going to set the grid.row of our rad grid view to grid.row1 and I'm going to scroll down and for our data pager I'm going to set the grid.row of 2 and if I scroll down just a tad and maybe expand this a little bit you can see this more clearly so we have our employees at the top with the page number and then of course we have our rad grid view and then down at the bottom we have our rad data pager so if we go ahead now and make sure everything is saved and we run our project then you will see up at the top we have employees which we had hard coded to page and then the number of cur of course is using our converter so it is determined that we are on page one so if we went ahead and we click on page two then that field is going to be updated automatically for us by the use of the converter that we added just a few minutes ago so again i hope this helped and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thanks.